Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog. I am in my pyjamas. I have washed and showered and washed my hair and got myself ready for the day so I just need to get dressed. We're actually just about to head out to a place in Godalming. We found a planter on the Facebook marketplace and so we're going to go and pick that up. Um, Oh, this is the first time I've washed my hair. It took forever. For anyone that's got extensions, you feel my pain. The first time you have fresh hair put in and you wash it, it holds the water so much and it takes about three days to dry. However, game changer. So my hair extension lady introduced me to this. It's called Cloud9. I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. You can get it from... Um, Amazon and obviously it's split there so you just shake it up and it dry it um, reduces your drying time by 50% and if you have got hair extensions you know that we need that oh just nearly bat myself on the straightness um, you know that we need that because it takes forever to dry extensions so um but uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with how it has turned out actually I've popped a few waves in it and um, yeah I'll just quickly show you actually what else I've used so I've used the Revlon Unique um, All-in-One which is like a leave-in conditioner so I washed it and dried it using um, my usual shampoo and conditioner hold on let me go and get it so I used this initially so this is a intensive deep repair mask this massive, massive tub is nine pound on Amazon. And honestly, it's so good. So all these things are um, recommended from my hair extension technician, but this is incredible. So I popped this on with my hair dry and then I potted around the house. I watered the plants. I had breakfast as you saw and kind of potted around the house for a little bit. So maybe left it in for about an hour or so. I then washed my hair with my Purology shampoo and conditioner, which I've been using for a little while now. It's obviously sulfate free for extensions, um, but it's really good at hydrating and giving your hair just a little bit of a boost of moisture. Then I went in with the unique all-in-one, the Revlon Professional one, and that's a leave-in conditioner, so I have left that in, and then I let my hair dry as much as I could before we needed to get ready to go out. Then, my cloud nine to reduce my drying time. It's also a heat protector, protector. So I then dried my hair after that. And then before I added my curls, I added my GHD heat protection spray. So that's kind of my routine for my hair to keep it looking luscious and fresh for as long as you can. So you really need to look after extensions. You do need to make sure that you are treating it as normal hair. So do deep condition it and all of that kind of thing. Obviously from the mid lengths to the ends, you don't want to condition where the um, attachment is because that can make it slippery and it can make them fall out. So you do want to be wary of that. But um, yeah, I think it's looking pretty nice after all of those treatments. It's been a bit of a mission this morning, but I just need to get into the routine and back into the habit of doing it all and um, it will be absolutely fine. So, as I think I said earlier, I feel like this has been a really higgledy piggledy start. We're heading over to Godalming now to pick up a planter from um, Facebook Marketplace we um, picked it up from. She's got, I think, some matching um, like buckets as well that we can use as planters. So we're gonna have a little look, see what she's got. I obviously won't vlog when I'm there because it's someone's house and that's <laughs> probably quite inappropriate. But I think we're then, as we'll be near Godalming, we'll go into the town centre and have a little look around and see um, what it's got to offer. I think it'll be really nice because this is the Jubilee weekend. This is the Platinum Jubilee weekend. So I think it'll be really nice to see what the town has got going on. And I'm gonna be vlogging over the entire kind of probably three or four days of the Jubilee bank holiday. And I know that our town have got some really lovely things going on. So that'll be really nice. We're tomorrow going to a party, a little family party at my mum and dad's. So that'll be lovely as well. So we've got a nice few things coming up to hopefully make a really nice happy jubilee inspired weekend and vlog out of so i'm gonna get dressed because jamie will be shouting up the stairs with me any moment for me to get ready and to get going so um i will catch up with you guys in a bit okay don't look too closely at the mess in my dressing room but um we are ready to go i'm just wearing my little um dress from karen millen that i unboxed and showed you in the last video betty is crying because jamie is outside and she cannot cope without him being near her but um yeah we are ready to get going 
So we've just got to Godalmin guys after picking up our bits. They're in the boot of the IQ. Honestly, they're so cute. I'm really, really looking forward to um, getting planting. Probably next weekend. I doubt we'll get it done this weekend, but I'm very much excited to get started with that. I think it's going to look really, really lovely. So um, yeah, very, very excited. So we're just going to have a little walk um, around the town now. Honestly, guys, the ladies' house that we just went to was like literally the most beautiful house I've ever seen. I would really, really love to live there one day. It was unbelievable. She had this beautiful big oak front porch. Oh my gosh, honestly, house of dreams. I said to her, if you ever sell up, let us know because, you know, I'd quite like to live here. So very nice. Anyway, let's have a little wander around the town and see what's going on. Hippo! What are you looking at? Hey? Oh, strawberries in there. <laughs> so guys, we have just got back. These are the bits that we have picked up from Godalming. So this is the large, obviously, planter here. I don't know whether it would have been a trough at some point or what, but so we've got one of those and then we have got three buckets as well. So I think they're gonna look really, really amazing or sort of clustered together. So they will be, on this area here. So we've got the patio here just outside the doors and then this horrible area which we both hate, don't we? But um, we, the plan of action is we're gonna put some, oh, what's the black material called? Membrane. membrane, yep, there we go. We're gonna put some membrane down here and then some gray slate and then we've got a little table and chairs to pop out and then we're gonna have these in the corner there. So um, you're gonna pop them down. Oh fab, see what they look like. Just kind of place them. Yeah. And then do over yeah, just a little cluster of three. Perfect. You literally have no skills. <laughs> Hold the camera. Oh, I'll do it right. <laughs> no, who does that? Oh, that was on the side. No. <laughs> No, that's not how it goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's bum. <laughs> That'll do. If you want something done right, do it yourself. So this is the kind of cluster look that I was after rather than Jamie's line of buckets. But uh, I think that'll look really nice with the grey slate down. We've got those with some beautiful plants in and then a little seating area as well. So I think that will look absolutely gorgeous and just finish off the garden because it is looking so, so lovely now. So I think that will just finish everything off. Go for a walk. Can we go for a walk? Yeah, we go for walks. Walk. Yeah? She just looks confused. Oh, come on then. While Jamie is just getting ready to go out and getting Bet Boo ready to go for a walk, I thought I'd just quickly show you this pot that I picked up in one of the little stores in Godalming as well. It's really, really gorgeous. It's kind of got that aged sort of antique feel to it and I just thought it'd be really nice. I've seen an arrangement actually that's got um, dried hops in and I think that would look really nice um, in a vase like this. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for some of those but I just thought it was gorgeous actually and just perfect for the kind of decor that we have in the house. Good morning everyone and welcome to Friday morning. It is day two of the four day bank holiday weekend. I'm currently sitting in the garden. I'm actually looking at myself in the viewfinder wishing I'd put makeup on but never mind. My allergies are quite bad this morning as is Jamie's and Jamie has breakfast just got out has served. some lovely has breakfast. Served. Look at that. Been has served. served. Has served. Is served. served. Is served, yeah. Wow, that looks amazing. Size of this bowl, my goodness. It's a big breakfast, but it's going to be absolutely delicious. So what we've we got, we've got some strawberries, we've got granola, we've got some Greek yogurt, some berry compote and some honey by the looks of it on top. And then of course my latte. Very much looking forward to scoffing that in a moment. We've been out this morning already and taken Betty for a walk. We were going to take her out for a really long walk over to the park, but um, her legs started playing up, unfortunately. I'm not sure if it's her hips. I think it probably is. So we went um, on a different walk instead, which wasn't quite as long. 
um but yeah we need to keep an eye on her hips well she had some hydrotherapy for her back because she used to have a back problem about four years ago and the lady that did it said that she thought she had arthritis in her, her hips at that point so i wonder if it's just got worse as she's got older but um so we went on a smaller walk oh look betty's got her own little breakfast as well <laughs> Yeah, so we went on a smaller walk and actually found some really beautiful fields that were just filled with buttercups. They were absolutely gorgeous. So I'm hoping that um, a little bit later today, after I've got myself all ready, we might be able to go over and take a few snaps for um, Instagram and maybe do a, a reel or something like that. It would be quite nice because I think take advantage of the beauty we have in the area that we live in. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast now and then get myself ready for the day, I guess. Betty, look at, look at mummy. So Betty's enjoyed her breakfast, clearly. <laughs> Look at it. I think you need a napkin, darling. So then guys, I am just getting ready for the day. I just thought I'd do my makeup with you guys. Um, I've already popped on my By Terry CC Serum. I can't decide eye-wise whether to go and use my Gold Huda Beauty eye palette. I don't even know if this is still available. I've had this for years and years. Hold on, let me check. Gold Huda Beauty. Oh, there you go. I found it on one website called AliExpress. So you can get it, but it's not available on kind of your usual cult beauty and places like that. But I mean, as I said, I've had this for a long time. So I'm not sure whether to use this palette or whether to use my um, the Clay de Peau palette, which I absolutely love. The last time I used this was Christmas. Um, so I don't know whether to use that or whether to use this or whether to use maybe a little combination of them both maybe. I'm wearing a white dress so I feel like I can go either way with my eyes. I just fancy doing something different rather than my everyday um, by Terry One which I adore. I mean I, this is just my favourite palette ever but I just thought maybe I would do something a little bit different as it's a little bit of a special occasion and as I've got time to actually do it as well. But. Um, Anyway, I'm just going to go in with my usual base. So as you know, I often just use concealers as my base if I want a fairly light base. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte. Initially, I've then got my um, Peach Low Lighter, which I pop across my nose and mouth area, and then Banana Low Lighter, low lighter rather, for underneath my eyes. But I'm just going to go just a little bit all over with my Tarte one. This is the best concealer I've ever used. Um, for kind of all round and for kind of concealing blemishes. It's so, so good for that. It's, um, it really is good and it's quite lightweight. It's, you know, you don't feel like you're wearing an awful lot of makeup when you're wearing it, which is really nice. But I mean, look at that. It just, it just blends in beautifully. So it's really, really nice. I do really, really like it um, an awful lot. So I'm just gonna go in with this, with the areas that I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage. Okay, so that is pretty much my base done. I'm just going to go in with the Rodeal Glass Powder now to um, just mattify um, a few areas. I say mattify because it actually really doesn't. It, it kind of gets rid of any excess shine, but it does give you that kind of glow still. It's really, really beautiful actually. This is my all-time favourite powder. And they do now do a small one because this size lasts for Ever, which is absolutely brilliant um, but they do a little travel one now as well which I think is, is really good as well and it will just it just lasts for so long honestly it's amazing I think it's great it's my all-time favorite favorite powder so it doesn't look cakey it's still you know you've still got that glow but I've literally popped that pretty much all over my face and I've still got that kind of glow from within look really love that banana low lighter then I'll just pop that under my eyes. I do pop it on after my powder. Um, I don't know whether I saw it on YouTube or I read it somewhere that actually they advised you to do it, yeah, to kind of pop your powder on and then pop this on over the top. You almost want to leave it for a minute or so and let it kind of set or dry a little bit before you then um, blend it all in. But um, yeah, I always go for the same brush with all of my base as well. That's probably wrong, but um, literally this brush, it's a rodeal one, the buffing brush it's called, and I use it for everything, literally. So yeah, concealer, foundation, whatever, this is the brush that I use. And then I've got a blush brush, um, which actually 
is in dire need of replacing so i do need to get a new blush brush if anybody has any recommendations do let me know um i've got my powder precision brush from rodial that i use for powder and so that's three and then i've got a larger eyeshadow brush four and then i do have a small one somewhere as well where's that oh that's my teeny tiny one that i use if i'm kind of using it for eyeliner and that's basically the only brushes that i ever use so I'm, I'm yeah probably quite bad with that but um i just don't have enough room to put them everywhere so yeah anyway blending in now that banana low lighter i love this so much there's a reason why um rodeo sell out of this all the time because it's just fantastic look at that eye it really just brightens up the under eye area i think it's brilliant and i'm lucky very very lucky that i actually don't have a dark under eye area a lot of people i know really suffer with that but i'm very very lucky that i actually don't and even on me it brightens it up so if you do have a dark under eye area i just think it's magical i really do um so i'm just going to set it with a little bit more of the rodeal um glass powder just a little bit not much just to kind of set that in and then that is base done so let's go in with some bronze <laughs> two bronzes i'm using is the guerlain in terracotta I like that as kind of a, an all over sort of base bronzer and then going in after that with my by terry looks how much i love this one it's running out i have got another one though cc powder um brightening bronzer this is game changing so let's just pop that on just popping it around the forehead area and around the hairline area there as well just helps to give you kind of that sun-kissed look and then obviously taking it down around the chin and around the neck just get my hair out of the way okay for a bit of blush i'm going to go for my um clay depot cream blush is this a particular color um it just says three so i don't know whether they have different colors or not but uh, it's really nice it's kind of got a little bit of shimmer to it as well so it gives you a little bit of highlight almost to it as well which is really really lovely but i have got a highlight i'm actually going to use today i'm going to use my tom ford one which i haven't used for ages i bought it i don't know maybe 18 months ago a long time ago and um and i don't use it all that often but it is a really pretty color where is it and the packaging is just gorgeous as with a lot of tom ford products oh so it's two colors i'd forgotten i haven't used it for so long i wonder if i can use this on my eyes a little bit actually oh i think i'm gonna go for that i think that's gonna be really nice so maybe use a combination of these two and then my um uh huda beauty one and go for a little bit of a goldy look i think that's going to look really really lovely or like a rose goldy kind of style so i'm going to use what am i going to use let's go for eyes and i'm going to use for i'm going to go for this one i think as just a little bit of a base where's my eyeshadow one i have it maybe go there we go so let's just go for this as an all over kind of base color that's actually a really nice color I like that nice peachy tone so crease shade so what should we go for i think i'm going to go for a little bit of this color in the crease shade and then i'm going to go over the top of it with this one as well but let's just go for this color initially i'm just drawing it across and out and a little bit under the eye as well just create a little bit of a smudge effect there. Is it gonna focus on me? Yeah, a little bit of almost like a smudge there. Okay, so, sorry, the lighting's probably not great. I should've put my ring light on. I wasn't gonna do a whole makeup thing. I was just gonna talk you through my products as I was doing it. So it's kind of turned into a bit more than that. Let's go for this one now. And then just almost going over that crease shade. I've still got the uh, plastic on here. look i can see out of it brilliant okay so looking like that and then i'm going to go here almost just under the brow line and in the inner corner as well i think just a little bit almost a bit of a highlight 
Okay, looking like so. I'll just close my eyes, see if you can see it a little bit better there. And then I think I'm gonna go along the lash line, going back to the gold palette with maybe this darker one and see what that looks like. Now I cannot do that on camera, so I will come back to you in a minute. Okay, eyes are done. I'm actually really pleased with how it's turned out. So I went along my lash line with this darker colour here, so along the top lashes and underneath a little bit as well. And then I've just popped my mascara on and I think that looks nice and just kind of drawn it all out along the eye there as well. And I think that looks rather pretty. I've just lined my lips as well. And as for lip colour, I think I'm going to do a combination of two of my clay de peau, so not that colour first, I'm going to go for this colour first, which is like almost a darky sort of pinky reddy kind of colour, really really nice, and then I think I'm going to go for this over the top, so let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so that's the first colour, and then I think this colour over the top is just going to lighten it and give it a bit more of a pinky feel. Yeah, it almost gives it a bit more of a summery kind of corally feel. So I quite like that little combo. And I think it brightens up my eyes really nicely as well. I think that's a really nice little combination. And then just finishing off, then coming back to the Tom Ford and just gonna pop a small bit of highlight on my cheeks. I'm actually gonna go for a different brush. I'm gonna go for the Baby Teddy brush and just literally just dot that in just along here and just taking it up round the eye. A little bit there too so just to give a little bit of subtle highlight I, I always like my highlight to be really subtle I hate it when people have those kind of strips of light I just think that's um, never really the best look in my opinion I know lots of people do like it like that but uh, I think subtle is always better yeah and I think that um, is looking lovely. Right, so I'm gonna just pop some curls through my hair, get my dress on and get ready. The sun is still out, but it is clouding over a little bit out there. So I'd like to quickly get over the fields and get some snaps done in my dress as well. So um, yeah, let's finish getting ready. Okay, so this is my makeup in a little bit more natural lighting by the window. So looking really, really lovely and really, really fresh. I'm really loving using the Rodial Retinol pads at the moment. Honestly, I think they are making my skin look so fresh and so bright. I absolutely love them. I think they're looking, yeah, it's making my skin look really nice. So um, I'm wearing my uh, Max Mara dress. I'll show you full length in a moment. So we're going to head over now and get a few snaps before we head out to my mum's for our Jubilee celebrations. Okay, so this is the dress, just having a little step back. It is the Max Mara dress that I unboxed with you a little while ago. So I absolutely love this dress. A high neck is just my all-time favourite kind of neckline. I love the little um, tie detail and the back, if I can show you, is really beautiful as well. So really nice open back. Such a gorgeous summer dress and it's quite demure still and really, really elegant. Really lovely length as well. It's that kind of midi length detailing. So I just love it. It's my all time favorite dress of the moment. Gentlemen, the queen. The queen. Family, friends, and the queen. The queen. The queen. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. I was going to say to a new video then, but it is still the same video. It is now Saturday afternoon. I keep getting so confused with the days because we had Thursday, Friday off. I kept thinking Thursday was Saturday. Friday was Sunday and it's not, it's Saturday now and Sunday tomorrow and it's just confusing the living daylights out of me. But hey ho, it's still very, very nice having that time off. 
So it is Saturday afternoon. I have done my two classes that I normally teach this morning and now we are just about to head into town actually. I think, well I think later on this afternoon and kind of early evening they're going to be live streaming the concert for the Queen for the Platinum Jubilee concert which will be quite good. I think they've got a big screen up so we might pop down and see that a little bit later. I think they've got some stalls going on and things like that as well with some food and some just some nice little bits and pieces to look at. So that will be a bit later later on this afternoon kind of early evening but for now we're going to head into town and go for some lunch and maybe have a little wander around a few of the shops and just kind of see what's going on really but um yeah it is rather kind of wet and rainy out there today I think the rain is done for the day now but it is rather grey it's going to focus yeah there you go you can see it is rather grey out the window and rather miserable so I've just popped on my biker jacket I've got my Dior t-shirt um, and my Amazon skirt jobby, popping my trainers on and then we are going to get going but um, yeah I'm looking forward to this afternoon I think it'll be nice. This is probably the last of the kind of jubilee events that we'll be doing anyway. I think tomorrow we're just going to have a nice relaxed day so I think this will be the last day of the vlog but uh, it should be a good one. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's been such a lovely kind of long sort of weekend slash not weekend but it's been really, really lovely and it's been a really nice thing to celebrate the Queen. I mean, even if you're not into the Royals, I know some people don't particularly like the Royal Family. I think you're nuts because I love them. I love them so much. I love the Queen. I think she's brilliant. Her work ethic is outstanding and just she's just amazing she's incredible I think they actually do a lot for the country don't get me wrong there are a few royals which um, we won't speak about um, a few of them have been in the press quite recently for not so good things so we won't talk about those but the Queen and um, a few of the others are amazing Princess Anne absolutely amazing she just cracks on with it just gets on with their job love her and um, obviously William and Kate they're brilliant as well so it's just it's really nice to celebrate in 70 years on the throne we're not going to see that again certainly not for a long long time you know Charles is not going to be doing 70 years he's in his 70s already I think and William still he won't be doing 70 years either so it is it's a really special occasion and a really big deal I think for us to celebrate and even if you're not into the royal family I think it's just nice to celebrate that someone has worked that hard and also just have some time with your family and some friends and just have some nice time off work so well for some of us I know that lots of people are still working very very hard and uh, we thank you all of you NHS workers and key workers and things that are actually still working their bums off but uh, yes I'm going to stop waffling on now because I actually don't know what I'm talking about anymore and we're going to head into town And sewing there, I see, on the front of the newspaper, head down, say she didn't know it was a secret. So I thought, I thought, well, I'm... Platinum Jubilee bench. How cute is that? <laughs> Guys, I'm hoping you can see through the reflection, but look at that strawberry jug and the little strawberry bowls and the plates. Mm -hmm. See my reflection. Yeah, I'm trying to persuade just Jamie to buy them for me. <laughs> I think he should treat his wife. Look at them, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've got some Jubilee donuts from our favorite at Sprinkles and Twinkles. They are, as you can see inside, uh, strawberry jam and cream filled donuts. They are going to be tasty. <sighs> I think this is us for the day, isn't it, babe? Thank you very much. I think we're just going to go home, chill out. We might watch the concert on the TV and enjoy our evening. And we're going to eat our donuts. So I'm going to finish the video here, I think, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us on our Jubilee celebrations. If you have, of course, do give the video a good old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I shall catch you all in the next one. Mwah.